I am Evan Brown. I am a cadet staff sergeant. I am from originally Orangeville, Indiana. It's a small little six person town in Indiana. And I'm in the, also in the Army National Guard as a Sergeant E5. Uh, I just moved from the 371st uh, Sustainment Brigade and I moved to the 137th Signal Battalion just this week. So I've been deployed three times. The first time I deployed as a peacekeeper in Bosnia and the second time was for the actual ground invasion of Iraq and the third time was OIF 3 and 4. The first night we staged up, uh, well for the first week we staged up in Kuwait and we're waiting to roll and the night before the invasion I watched the, uh, I was laying outside watching the stars and saw all the airplanes fly over, seeing their afterburners in the night fly over and hit their targets, fly back, refuel, they did ops all night and then uh, the Iraqis shot some high explosive scuds about I'd say about 100, 100 miles away from us, so we had to get in our mop suits just in case they were chemical. But I heard the actual generals in charge of shooting the scuds were afraid to use the chemicals because they would also leak on their own troops. And once we did roll across, I rolled, I drove for three days straight. Uh, some people had the luxury of having. Uh, Somebody switch out with him. I didn't. I drove for the whole three days, right outside Baghdad. Then we we picked up a signal mission right inside. After Baghdad was about 60% taken over, we took over missions there in Baghdad. ROTC is fun. It's a different experience from my uh, from my 15 years of active duty. It's an uh, eye opener. I uh, I enjoy it. They they're very accommodating. Last last semester I tore my ACL. I had to have ACL re replacement surgery. And while I was doing physical therapy, they did a distance learning with me. So they're very accommodating. They're really nice people here. What are your long-term goals? I plan on being retiring as an officer within the Army. I've, uh, I've already been 15 years. I plan on doing at least another 10 or 15 if I can, if they'll let me active duty as a signal officer. It's never too late. If you think it's too late, it's never too late. I'm married. I have three kids. I've been in 15 years. Um, originally, I, we thought we were going to uh, get out back in uh, 1998 into the Green to Gold program. Then I found out my wife is pregnant. But now I have three kids, so it's never too late to join ROTC, pursue your dreams. The program here is excellent. It has a long tradition. Um, it's very, very honor bound. I'm proud to be at this unit. Thank you to my wife for being so supportive in my family when I'm here and especially when I'm not. And I want to thank my mom and my dad and my stepmom, my stepdad, and all my brothers and sisters, but mostly my wife. She's been there. We have been provided with a great opportunity to support the wall coming into Xenia by providing our best uh, color guard team to be able to represent our Marauder Battalion and ROTC, Army ROTC Department uh, being part of the parade of colors for the wall coming in. But most important, we need you all to be able to come by and support us too. These veterans have done what nobody else has asked them to do, but yet they did it in order to provide us the freedom that we so much enjoy nowadays. So why don't you join us and let's just have a good time by remembering that because of the sacrifices of our forefathers, we're able to enjoy our future.